Jesus freak here. I don't know if it's just me becoming more comfortable with basically, it's not quite public speaking, but it's similar. But I don't know if it's me becoming more comfortable with it or just me getting older or whatever. I used to think that I sounded like I slurred. Like, you know, there's something wrong with my head. But I was just going back and uh, checking some videos to make sure everything was right for uh, when they come out on the four Sundays leading up to Christmas and on Christmas itself. So I was making sure that all the signage was correct, all the graphics showed up properly. And I said, you know what? I don't think I sound slurry anymore, although I do have trouble pronouncing L still. Nowadays, I think I sound, you know, a bit more rough. And <laughs> maybe the answer to that is this. But uh, <laughs> I guess it's making me feel a little more um, confident in my ability to produce these videos. I probably still would have some trouble if I were having to do this live. And the fact that I'm not doing it live probably makes it a lot easier. But it does make me feel a little better that, you know, I, I don't think I'm sounding like there's something wrong with my head anymore. Uh, minor speech impediment is a lot less noticeable than sounding like I got brain damage. I mean, not that, you know, there's some big name people who have a slur. Sylvester Stallone actually has, I believe, brain damage that gives him that slurred voice he's got. And, well, he's probably one of the bigger names, although not as much now as he used to be. And also, you know, despite having a bit of, as I understand, he has some brain damage due to the way he, he was delivered. Um, not only is he an actor, he's a writer and a director, too. You know, he wrote the Rocky movies himself and directed all but two of them. And he's written and directed other movies, too. And he's pretty well regarded for it, too, I think. So. I guess, you know, it's not the impediment I thought it would be. 
Jesus freak out. 